lot of technology just to float an airship. Comstock never heard of hydrogen. The First Lady Mark I did run on hydrogen, and it was destroyed by a single bullet from a Vox sniper. Unfortunately, the Prophet wasn't on board at the time. If I take the active particle, then the First Lady is just a 40-ton paperweight. Best to take the spare. Here we go. Now let's head back through that tear. You honestly expect Atlas to honor his side of the deal? No. But we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Up maniac. He'll make a mistake. I just have to be ready to take advantage of it when it happens. All for a girl you barely know. How well did you know me when you came to Columbia? Pretty lady not finished yet. What? Open the tear. Power for device, very expensive. Eat for that. Just tell me what you want. So John wanted something as simple. Lock of hair. Oh, you're not serious. Not that your hair, stupid! Think Hodge's secret life. Mothballed, forgotten. In there, hair sample. In jar. Cannot miss it. You get for Sutra. Then everybody friends. Where is his lab? Closed off past Fink's quarters. Um, you smart lady, you find. Should have seen that one coming. Rent to generate a bullet snatching shield that places ammo into your gun. right in the middle of the siege. That means the other you and I are probably inside the factory. On our way up to the First Lady. And what happens if we run into ourselves? We won't. How do you know that? Because we didn't. done me good service, but I will not hurt the boy. I will see Fink and Comstock burn, but I will not hold the son to account for the deeds of his father. You've misunderstood us. We neither asked you to harm the child. Nor did we promise that yours would be the hand that would set Comstock's world afire. A famous man once said. And a famous man shall say. I may reach the mountaintop. But I fear I shall never visit the valley below. But you mean I won't live to see the... <sighs> No. It's up to you what matters more. Your part in the play? Or the play itself. Someone is coming. She'll arrive a girl. She must leave a woman. And what makes the difference between a girl and a woman? Blood. Your part in the play? Or the play itself. Turn her into a killer? How? Give the girl no choice. And she will be forced to make one.
for this girl. to look at that clock. state of being, or lack thereof, has left my brother unfulfilled. What's that thing you just picked up? My guess is that it has something to do with that giant clock out there. And that clock has something to do with opening the door to Fink's lab. Sort of. 
Looks like the mechanism unlocks certain activities when Fink gives his blessing. So what? We're stuck waiting for the cuckoo to go off? No. We've already found the clock key. We can manually wind it. Open whatever door we please. Sure seems like a lot of work to lock down a few doors. There's one thing that Fink loves. Could that Oriental have come up with a more inconvenient fuel for his plasmids? If there is a god, and I've seen more evidence to the contrary than in support, you'd think he'd have put Adam into the belly of a nice little seagull or crow. The cost of all these underwater expeditions are murdering my margins! As to the matter of religion, let me place myself in the camp of the agnostic. I pretend to understand the mysteries of the infinite no more than you, Comstock, or anyone else for that matter. But for the sake of argument, let's say this is all one unhappy accident, and we're all alone in our toils. Then who would Comstock use to control and shame us with rules that apply only to those without a penny in their pocket? If there were no God, you could rest assured the first deed done by the first rich man would be inventing him. lock of hair. Listen, I got you your daughter. I'm here for my issue. But my booker DeWitt died for the Fox Populi. You either an imposter or a ghost. My book of the wit was a hero to the cause, a story to tell your children.
You're the only one who ever... You're my only friend. Booker. I'm not even here. I'm a projection of your own. Could you humor me then? Please. I think Booker would miss you. Somebody, uh, fetch me a millionaire to clean this mess up. 